Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. Them people done raided his house, man. Puff Daddy, Pete Diddy, Sean Combs, whatever you want to call them. They done raided his house out there in Los Angeles and Miami. They done got two of his cribs, man. I don't know who these people are because I... They say the feds or whatever, FBI. They say HSI. I don't know what they stand for, but yo... I want to know, do y'all think, is it overkill for them to kick in the door, wave in the 4 4? All you hear is Papa, don't hit me no more. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. I say it's overkill, but it might not be because y'all know the case. They say that man been trafficking and doing all that type things, man, but I don't know. Um, Is it overkill where they kicked in his door and did all that? Right? And I had to put on the stinky Yankee for this story. This is some New York shit right here. Hold on, man. They got his sons up there. Um, King, Justin. I think that's their name, King and Justice. Justin, that's the sons, but they got them in handcuffs, man. I ain't really like that, man. If y'all looking for um, Puff Daddy, they say Puff Daddy ain't that or Diddy, no Diddy, whatever you want to call him, man. Um, they say he out there in Bali. What's my man name? Russell Simmons. So I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think of this, what y'all know about this story. Um, they didn't raid his crib, man. Puff Daddy, Pete Diddy. Damn, this crazy, yeah. They didn't say, is he really gone? I don't know. Because he ain't there. He ain't there in them cribs, man. And y'all know that story, man. Them, them cases that they didn't came out with, man. They say he out there trafficking girls and shit. Um, what's the girl name? Cassie. She didn't have a story. Everybody got a story about Diddy right now, man. Um, he could be paying some money. I don't know, man. What, is, what did they catch him for? Like, what did they... I, I don't know the story. I just know that... The thing is, did he been captured? I mean, they didn't raid his house by federal law enforcement. That's what they call him. What is HI? HSI. Hold on, let's see this again, man. I don't know what this is. Almost sexual investigations. <laughs> I'm playing, man. Don't, don't, don't come for me, LGBTQRS community. Y'all know what I mean, though, man. But um, ain't really much to say about this story. Is it? I'm saying what everybody else saying and what everybody else know that Diddy house or homes mansions you can't even call them houses diddy mansions they've been raided for um they're looking for something i mean if they raiding your house that mean they already got a case on you or something they're just looking for the evidence or they're trying to make sure like why are you leave your boys out there like that man your sons yo them, them boys in handcuffs man that's why i said yo this got to be overkill man this got to be not not the situation i'm saying like did they have to come in like that yo with guns blazing, hold on. I think they would look. They got the the guns all at the doors and shit, man. Come on now. I don't know if that was the right thing to do, but that's their job. They had to go in. They they felt like they had to do that. It's just looking at it, yo. Seeing his sons in handcuffs, man, for something like I don't even know what part they got in it or whatever, whatever. I don't know the whole situation. I don't know this, man. I'm just saying, yo. That's the news. Diddy home been raided. He ain't there. A lot of people speculating that he might be out there with old boy Russell Simmons because he running for some shit too. Um, I'm trying to figure more of this shit out, man, by Friday. So I go live every Friday talking about stuff just like this right here on this channel, man. I feel crazy in this big ass hat. New York. Only wear, This is my first time wearing this shit. New York hat. I had to put it on for this story. I felt in touch with my New York side son, B. Dead ass B. Dead ass son. <laughs> Don't kill me, New York niggas. This y'all man's in them though. Puff that. Um That's the story, man. I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, holla at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you gotta hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. talking about stuff just like this. Come join the conversation. Tell me how you feel about it. Tell me any news you got about this because I ain't going to look it up no more. I'm going to say the same shit Friday. But with my co-hosts, we're going to talk about it. And their opinions are not like mine. And they may vary from mine. We're going to have a whole argument about it. Hey, what do you do? I don't know. What do you do? I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. That's how people do, man. They get together and talk and argue. Anyway, holla at your boy. Heist man the foe. Talk their talk. Get old news and opinions. This is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now. All right.
right. This time, but I'll be back, and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.